Yes. Hello, everyone. Again, I, Anjum Bhatti Nirvan, welcomes you to join the class of general knowledge. Okay. In this uh, video, we will complete our chapter number 17, 23, and 26. So, first, we'll do lesson number 17. My clean and green world. So, students, today we are going to study about my clean and green world. We have given some question we have to take the correct answer okay a few situations are shown below what would you do in the following situation means there are a few situations okay and the speaker is asking the writer is asking that what would you do in the following situation take the best statement to show your concern for nature you may take both the statement in each group if needed you may take both this statement also Okay, now let's read first statement. If you find someone throwing plastic bags, things related to religious ceremonies, etc. into a water body, what you what will you do? You would tell him that such practice not only pollute water, but also cause havoc. Havoc here, here meaning is waste to the water life. And you will say you would not talk to him as it is the matter of his faith. No, this is wrong and we will say you would tell him that uh, that such practice not only pollute water but also a cause waste to the water life. Okay. Now second situation over here is if your mother is washing vegetables in the sink of your kitchen, what would you say? You would ask her to wash the vegetable properly. No, we cannot do this. And second thing is you would ask her to wash the vegetables in a pan of water. Okay, so that the water can be used to water the plants later. Now next is, if your mother is continuously cooking on a high flame, what would you say? You would tell her when the liquid in the food starts boiling, the flame size can be reduced, yani kam kar deni chahiye, to save at least 40% fuel. Okay, and if uh, you would say you would be surprised to see how the food is cooking on such a high flame. So number one is correct. You would tell her when the liquid in the food start boiling, the flame size can be reduced to save at least 40% fuel. Next statement is if you find a gardener watering the plants during daytime, what would you say? You would appreciate him for doing a wonderful job. Or you would encourage him to water the plant early in the morning or late in the evening because this practice can reduce water loss due to evaporation. Evaporation meaning is the process of learning from liquid into, uh, okay, burning from liquid into vapor means bhaap jise hum hindi mein kehte hai. So I think both are correct but uh, according to me, second one is more correct, okay. Next is if you have your food prepared for a picnic or journey. What would you do? You would carry disposal plastic cups and plates as they are easy to handle and you need not take them back home. Next is you would prefer your regular steel or plastic cups and plates as they can be used again and again. As students, we have already read our previous chapter about uh, reuse, okay, reuse the things. So according to that, I take this uh, second one, okay. Next is if your house is getting whitewashed, now what would you do? You would insist on your father to have three coats of whitewash on the terrace floor because it will maximize the heat being reflected and make the house cooler by up to 5 degrees. Okay, you would insist on your father to have the house painted with some bright colors as you like such colors very much. This is the selfishness. Okay, so I, I take the number one okay now there is an amaz amazing fact that is Badlapur village of Maharashtra. there is a village in Maharashtra. the name of that village is Badlapur okay converted garbage into manure in just 15 minutes manure here is khat ko convert karta hai in, in just 15 minutes isn't it amazing now let's do next chapter which is chapter number 23 okay Additional leaves. Now, leaves of many plants and trees are used in the treatment of various diseases. Now, many plants are used in the leaves treatment of various kinds of diseases. So, we can use the trees uh, or we can use the plants and trees. Okay. So, write the correct name of the leaves in the blanks given below each picture. Now, number one is 
it leaves are helpful in the treatment of bronchitis okay bronchitis it's a uh, related to lung effects okay and cardiac cardiac it's related to heart and disorder and asthma so there is a drumstick okay drumstick is used for the treatment of all of these okay now second is its leaves are useful in the treatment of common cold that that is cinnamon the meaning of cinnamon is dalchini okay we usually use at home its leaves are useful in the treatment of tooth ache that is cashew cashew you always eat it kaju okay it leaves are used to cure warm warm air uh, little little kind of uh, jise hum kide bolte hain okay because it contains polyphenols polyf oh, sorry polyphenol polyphenol phenols here meaning is chemical compound ki aisa chemical compound hota hai jo kiska cure karta hai worms ka that is betel betel the hindi meaning of betel is supari okay next is number 5 its leaves are helpful in the treatment of night blindness that is mango leaves okay it leaves are useful in the treatment of ringworm ringworm jise hum daant kehte hain and eczema eczema is a kind of skin problem okay that is balsam okay next is its leaves are useful in the treatment of डिजीज लाइक लूज मोशन ओके for all uh, for both the things this is a treatment in beetle guard okay in sab ka treatment kis mein hai beetle guard mein hai so we use we can use beetle guard for that its leaves are useful in treating eczema again i am repeating this eczema it's a kind of skin disease okay that uh, that is eucalyptus okay what is the meaning of eucalyptus in hindi neelgiri okay next is it leaves are useful in treating mumps now here mumps is related to saliva problem okay near the ears hamare kaano ke paas mein hota hai aur andar ki taraf hota hai glands par effect karta hai and ye glands ko swell kar deta hai swelling aa jati hai to uske liye kya hota hai uske treatment ke liye kya use karenge hum mustard mustard is a sarso okay everyone i hope this chapter is clear to you all let's do chapter number 26 it's related to quiz okay now first question of quiz is choose the correct answer where is the biggest buddhist temple in the world located in java indonesia next is which among the following was discovered by christopher columbus yes america next is what is the name of place where jesus was crucis crucified crucified here meaning is a kind of punishment that is golgotha The wonder of the world's Christ the Redeemer statue is located in which country? Christ the Redeemer is uh, the statue is located in Brazil. Where is the Great Barrier Reef of coral found in Australia? Which is the tallest church in the world? Ulm, sorry, Ulm Cathedral. Okay. London, the capital of the UK, is situated on the bank of which river? The answer is Thames. Okay, which sculptor designed the Statue of Liberty? The answer is Frederick August Bertholdi. Okay. Next is in which city are the headquarter of International Monetary Fund situated? Monetary related to money. Okay, that is Washington D.C. Which is the tallest statue in the world? Statue of Unity. Which is the biggest wall in the world? Great Wall of China. Name the largest Hindu temple in term of area. That is Angkor Wat. That is in Cambodia. Okay, everyone. So I hope these three chapters are clear to you all. Please learn these chapter in our next class. We'll be continuing with the next another chapters. Okay. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye bye, everyone.